Meisner coming and back on the field looking to make that, a play uh, there. Brief uh, internet uh, blip out there. Rob Kendall, Colin Acock here tonight on Audio Sports Online. We're going to have to call the Verizon Tower out there and find out what's going on. Six fifty-eight and counting left to go in the first uh, half of action. Avon received the punt, and six forty-five and counting. Bulldogs uh, student section. I'm looking over there. Very, uh, very intense. And if you're just rejoining with us now, you didn't miss anything. Just a punt, and then a five-yard run on first down. Snap, and there's a tackle. As that'll push it back. About a yard? Yeah, about a yard. Third and long. Third, yeah, as you said, third and long now coming up. And we'll see what Meisner can do. Out of the shotgun. Meisner with two receivers to the right and two to the left. Snap back to pass. Steps up. Has time. Fires down the field. Got a man. It's Garendo, and he's off to the races. Here he goes. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Touchdown, Isaac Garendo. And Avon once again back at it. 20, 27 to 21. Always fun to watch them just go. A coach say, let's just go for it on third and long and see what happens. It's an absolute shootout at the OK Corral here tonight at Avon High School. And now Avon goes for two. Did they get it? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. No signal from the officials. No I guess they did based on they the got reaction. It. So that's big. That'll make it 29 to 21. Did not see a reaction from the Avon officials, or from the Avon officials, I bet they wish it was the Avon officials, from the officials on the Avon score. That's always a gutsy call. That's, uh, boy, I'll tell you what. Yeah, no kidding. Absolutely. I don't know if I have the guts to make that call right there. <laughs> Well, you just never know. Maybe if it's 34, 21, thinking, eh, let's see what happens. Ben Davis, 13, Center Grove, 7 at the half. And now the Orioles will kick it away. Hydorn's going to put the foot into it. Sixteen fourteen, Ron Colley over Plainfield right now. Thank you, Colin. And that one will sail into the end zone, and it'll be a touchback. Good, Rob Kendall, Colin Acock, bringing you tonight's uh, high school football game as the Kevin Kersey Agency presents Friday Night Lights. Thanks to Shane Ray back in the Hendricks Power Cooperative Studios. We appreciate Shane working a little overtime tonight as we've had to reconnect a couple of times. Cathedral thirteen, Chittard nothing. Cathedral 13, Chittard 0. It's rivalry week. It's rivalry week. 14-0, my bad. 14. 14 nothing. Cathedral over Chittard. Cathedral just punted for the first time tonight, though. Now Strake is with it. He's flushed out of the pocket, breaks the tackle. He's off to the races, and he's up across the 30. First down yardage. That is uh, numerous times tonight he has uh, snuck out of the firm grasp of the uh, Avon defenders. Yeah. 
snap, there's the give, and there's Marcus off to the races, and another first down up across the 45-yard line. Five nineteen and counting now for Brownsburg. As they are taking their time here now, they're going to try to keep that Avon offense off the field. Snap, there's a give again to Marcus. And Marcus is up uh, to about the 49. And it'll bring up a second down and three. And again, more important for the Bulldogs than anything, they can keep that clock moving. Snap, there's the give, and a flag flies. Marcus had the run that time. Flag came in late. It's in the area of a hold. And that'll move him back. 10 yards, holding the call on the Bulldogs. Avon saying they want to move them back. Cleans up 34 nothing, but I don't know who they're playing. Holding the call against the Holding is the call against the Bulldogs. So that'll move them back. All the way back. What happened that time, Colin? We were switching over phones there. Pass incomplete. Third and long. Third and long coming up now. Very long. <laughs> Third and very long. See if he can use his shiftiness a little bit, get 20 yards right here. Maybe he'll hurt a little guy this time. Out of the shotgun. Back to pass. Throwing down the field. Got him in. Oh, it's caught. Intercepted. It's picked off by Avon on the return inside the 35, all the way down to the 31-yard line. And it was Johnny on the spot. Mm -hmm. We've called his name already tonight. 34, Sammy Bullock. I'll tell you what. These Avon secondary guys are really sniffing out where that ball is going to be, and mm -hmm. they're making plays. Ball down to the 32, and that's a huge turnover for the uh, for the Orioles against the Bulldogs. Out of the shotgun. There's the snap. End around. It's a reverse. It's Garendo. He's, He's got, got a lot of room. He's to the 20, 15, 10, 5. Lagged all touchdown. over the place, though. That one probably coming back. Yeah, that, that would definitely qualify as being in the area of a hold. <laughs> Maybe a clip or both. Yeah, you see that a lot on those reverses. And the, there's a flag at the 27 and a flag at the 21. And that's not where Avon would like to see flags. That's the problem when you get those big boys into too much space. They just start hitting. Yeah, absolutely. 29-21 is our score. The Bulldogs of Brownsburg trail the Avon Orioles. Here tonight on Audio Sports Online as the Kevin Kersey Agency presents Friday Night Football. And I'm Rob Kendall along with Colin Acock. Thanks for joining us. So two penalties on Avon, a holding that was declined, a personal foul that was accepted. And uh, somebody's going to be in big trouble tomorrow when they show film. Of course, they don't give the numbers in high school football. Did you ever get penalized for something and you're glad they didn't give you the give your number out? Nope. Never put in a situation where I could really give a, get a penalty. 
Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Out of the shotgun. There's the snap. Will give us to James. He's got room to run. He's got the 40. Gets the 35. And a host of Bulldogs will take him down there. A little surprise draw that time. Trying to catch uh, Brownsburg off guard. 4-11 to go. Whistles fly. Now we've got another flag. And Avon signaling that it's against the Bulldogs. Guarantee if you looked at Brownsburg's coach, he'd be doing the opposite. Pointing That's at true. Avon. Uh, well, there, Avon would be right on this one. It is against the Avon Orioles. Personal foul. Personal foul. Ooh, that's a big one. As that'll move. That'll, that'll move the chains. <laughs> yeah, that's, as they say in the business. As the Avon Orioles. Now bring their offense back onto the field. New life. First and ten ball all the way down to the 20-yard line. Snap back to pass. Meisner has time. Going to the end zone. Incomplete. Had the receiver. A little bit too low. Yeah, that was Peterson. And uh, as you said, Colin, he had him, but he just uh, overshot him a little bit. Oh, you got to admire the amount of time Peterson gets back there. I mean, he could, like, write his uh, write his biography or something. Autobiography, right? That's you write it yourself? Dictate it to someone else or something? Yeah. I think well, I think autobiographies. If you write it yourself, yep. biographies. If you, somebody writes it about you, right? Maybe he yells it over the coach, and the coach is describing it for him. <laughs> Four minutes to go in the first half. Adding personal touches along the way. He was uh, throwing a pass during this part of the book. <laughs> Three receivers to the left. Snap back to pass. Rolling, rolling, throwing, incomplete. He tried. To, they were trying to get a James free on a on a delayed screen that time. And Brownsburg wasn't having any of a good job by the Bulldog defense that time. They knew what was coming. And uh, the quarterback to just cut his losses on that one. Know he's about to get hit if he doesn't just rip it right there. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. Avon has run the ball pretty successfully. But this drive, at least they've seemed content to try to go back up to the air after getting the ball down first and 10 at the 20. They're definitely in Heidorn's range as he kicked a 40-yarder with ease last week. Now, that was downwind. But they are definitely in his range. You're looking at right now to be about a 37 or 38-yard field goal. And now we got a whistle. And another timeout. Avon. Avon Orthodox 3.55 left to go in the first quarter, first half. Rob Kendall, Colin Acock with you as the Kevin Kersey Agency presents Friday Night Lights right here on 98.9 WYRZ. Halftime, Roncalli 31, Plainfield 14. Wow. The Rebels, that one was hanging around there for a while, but the Rebels have... uh, They got that safety, made it 16-14, and they did not look back. Yeah, so we will... uh, Yeah, because that made it 16-14, and so two unanswered scores after that. For the Ron Colley Rebels. It's a game of momentum. Plainfield will be back home next week. I think it's against Greenwood. 3.55 left to go in the first half. Snap, back to pass. Goes to the corner, got a man caught. Peterson snakes at a one tackle, leans ahead, down to the 10. He's Looks like they marked him just a little shy. Yeah, he needed to get right to the 10 for the first down. So the Bulldogs momentarily stop it. It'll bring up fourth down and one. So what do you do here, Colin? You got fourth and one. Do you take the pretty automatic field goal? I mean, obviously in high school football, nothing's automatic. But uh, if you're feeling pretty good about a field goal here, or do you go for it? I put my quarterback under center, and I just tell him, run through some boys. There's the snap. The give is to Meisner, and he sneaks it forward. That is enough for the first down. I might be calling plays for Avon right now. And both of these teams are sort of in the same boat, which is they want to keep the other team's offense off of the field. So Avon could tend to try to run some clock here, I would imagine, as they'll now have a first and goal from the nine-yard line. 
Now, oh, that's right at the 10. He didn't make it by much. That'll move the chains. Yeah. Uh, they, so Avon now cannot get a first down. That's uh, that's right. That'll move the chains. There you go. 313 left to play in the contest. First half. Eight point lead for the Orioles over the Bulldogs. Really want to build on that. Out of the shotgun. Snap. Back to pass. Throws. Got a man. Caught. It's James. He's hit. Inside the five. Still on his feet. And now finally pushed back. Nice open field tackle that time by the Bulldogs. As I would say nine times out of ten, James is going to win an open field uh, tackling contest. But not I that time. I admire the just trust of the quarterback. He, fl- he was about to get hit. He had a guy in his face. He just flung it out there and knew his guy would be right there for him. Yeah, so the Bulldogs do momentarily at least stop the touchdown. Second and goal from the four. We'll see what uh, Avon can do here on second down. Fade or quick out maybe? Maybe get a slant with your slot guy. Snap, quick drop there. You called it. There it is. And it's a touchdown. Went right to the corner of the end zone that time and beating it to the pylon. Let's see who that was. That was Sheodovich. And uh, Sheodovich in for the score. That makes it 35 to 21. So 35. Tell you what, Shanovich is listed at 5'9". You know they trust him when they're putting that guy on the faded down there. Yeah, so that'll make it a 35-21 affair. And now Avon on to attempt the extra point. Snap spot, kick is up, it's down the middle, it is good. And Avon has put up 36 points in the first half. Still time to spare. Definitely one of those times where, you, as a coach, you're wanting to make a stop here and see if you can really crack this one open for halftime. Yeah, absolutely. So we will see what happens for Avon here in the. Really, I think they're going to be happy if they just get a stop and end the half before Brownsburg can score again. Now you see the Avon cheerleaders there holding the Avon flags that spell Avon. Also, did you guys? Did you guys have that at Shatar? Uh Shatar's a big one to spell. That's a longer one. It was uh, B C, and the, you had a B, a C, and a Trojan. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So Hydorn will kick it off now. Also, you have to realize Brownsburg is still not out of this. They get the ball at the start of the second half. Yeah, absolutely. Good point, Colin. The Bulldogs will get the ball, so if they can go down and score here, they're right back in this thing. And here we go. It's a high end over end kick. It'll sail deep. It'll go into the end zone, and that'll that'll be started at the 20-yard line. So Brownsburg will send the offense back onto the field. They trail it. 36 to 21. I'll tell you what, if you're Avon from an offensive perspective, hard to have asked for much more, right? I don't think you can really expect much more. They've done a great job of putting the ball in the end zone when they have the ball. Colin, has there been a punt? Yeah. Give quickly ahead. Yeah. I know. Yes, that's right. Both teams have punted. Ball run ahead up to about the 33-yard line. Snap, play action, rolling, throwing, got a man in the flat. It's dropped. Would have uh, would have been a gain of a couple that time. Went to the big guy. We called him earlier. He scored the touchdown. Uh, uh, number eight for Brownsburg. R.J. Decker. 21 nothing Cathedral Chatard 410 left in the half. Yeah, and I, I think we had that wrong earlier. We gave the touchdown to Will Barons. It's hard to see these numbers from up here, especially when they turn the lights on. I believe that was number eight, RJ Time out. Decker. Brownsburg. Score the touchdown. So it brings up second down and it should be third down and six, shouldn't it? It is third. Yeah, third down and six. The board says second. But uh, it is third down, so big third down coming up here for the Bulldogs. Fox says third. Coming up at the half, we'll hear from our underwriters. (laughs) 
Mind you, some programming coming up on WIRZ 98.9. Brownsburg, the visitors tonight, they've got 21, and they're in the road whites, purple helmets, purple letters and numbers. Avon, they're the home team. Those charcoal camouflage uniforms with gold letters and numbers in camouflage. Black helmets, white pants. And boy, this would be a big win for whatever team can come out of here victorious tonight. Still a long way left to go. Brownsburg out in ace. And now flushed out, Strake is hit from behind, he lost the ball! It's picked up by a Bulldog. It was Marcus on the spot. He's taken down though, and that'll bring up fourth down. It'll force the Bulldogs to punt. Strake. I'm surprised you don't see Avon take a timeout right after that play, give themselves a little bit more, give themselves like 2.15 rather than about a minute 40. Yeah, they've got, uh, they've got one left. And I'm sure Mark Bless weighed that option, but probably thinking, number one, maybe they'll score fast enough, but they don't want to give the Bulldogs the ball back with any time. There's a high snap, and it'll sail into the back of the end zone. Safety. That's a safety. You're right, Colin. A bad snap that time by Brownsburg, and it'll make it a 38-21 to affair. And now the Bulldogs will have to kick it off to the Orioles with a minute 45 to go. Hate to see that. Just a drive riddled with miscues. Ended even, ended even more abruptly with another miscue. So the Bulldogs now will have to kick it off to the Orioles. They'll get the ball. They're up by 17. Just the only little, uh... you know, and and not to, and we'll talk about this at the half a little bit in detail. But this game that we're watching here now really puts into perspective how good Ben Davis is because Avon has manhandled the other two opponents that they played this year, and thus far pretty much having their way with the Bulldogs. And, I mean, they were thoroughly pushed around by Ben Davis. I mean, when you're playing a team like Ben Davis, I mean, you're playing a team in that conference, the right. Mick conference. You're just playing with guys that aren't even – those are guys that are – I mean, all of them have looks by big, big schools to play football. Yep. Anybody you see on the field who has some sort of ability to play college football. So the Bulldogs will have to kick it off. And now I think they've changed the rule, haven't they, Colin, where you have the option of whether you want to punt it or actually tee it up. It used to be you had to free kick it or punt the football. I could be I could be wrong on that though. I thought that they it's had looking changed. Looking like they're just going to punt it, and usually they wouldn't pick that. So I'm guessing it is just you have to punt it. See an onside punt come? That'd be fun. That would be a that would be a talent, my friend. That would be a talent. That would have to be a lot of ball control off of that <laughs> type of kick. All right, here we go. Free kick, there it is. It's a high kick. It'll be taken, I believe that's Garendo. Oh, he fumbled it. Now picks it up at the 30. He'll take it to the center of the field. Cuts it back to the 35, ahead to the 40. And Avon will have the ball just past the 40-yard line. Minute 39, 38-21. Let's see if Avon can make it 45. All right, we'll see what happens now. Rob Kendall, Colin Acock, bring you the play-by-play of tonight's Avon High School football action against the Brownsburg Bulldogs. The Kevin Kersey Agency presents here on 98.9 WIRZ and audiosportsonline.com. Out of the shotgun. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Snap, give. James, he's got room to run. He's across the 45. Meets a, and boy, spins ahead and he got a first down. Nice run by James that time. Bad tackling by the Bulldogs. And, of course, that's big, Colin, because it will stop the clock. There's no quit in these backs. They want to get everything they can out of every single play. So now the clock will begin will, will begin to wind as Avon quickly comes back to the line of scrimmage. Two He's receivers set. to the right, to the left. Snap. Give again is to James. Breaks it free. He's got the 45. Under the 40. He's going. up for the races. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Avon. That was a great misdirection. Get the get wide receiver in motion. Fake it and have your running back just do what he does best. Get his feet running and go. 
What a run as Avon now extends the lead to 44 to 21. I mean, this was a close one. Avon didn't lead till, took a little while for them to get that lead and now they aren't looking back. They have put up 44 points and we still have time in the first half. Snap spot, Heidorn kick down, kick is down the middle, it is good. And so, with, with a minute 11 left to play in the first half, it's now 45 to 21. Just think about that. That means they're on pace to score 90, 90 points. points. Well, I mean, you gotta think last week, the Bulldogs had 52 at the half. And here's the thing. I think everybody knows in the Brownsburg Avon rivalry, especially with these two offenses, this game is a long way from being over. Long way. Minute 11 left to play in the first half. Rob Kendall, Colin Acock bring you tonight's game as the Kevin Kersey Agency presents Friday Night Lights on 98.9 WIRZ and audiosportsonline.com. What do you think? Is this a time where as a coach you take all your guts and put it on the field and just try to get an onside in? Uh, I was just sitting there thinking about that. I mean, you got to me there's enough time to where if you did decide to do it, Right now would be a very ideal time to do it. Yeah, and the Bulldogs are back. They're certainly not thinking that's going to happen. But we will see as here comes Heidorn, and he will. It's a line drive kick. Yeah, it's going to hit. It'll roll. It'll be taken at the 5. Head to the 10, to the 15, to the 20, and Kurtz is taken down at about the 23-yard line. You saw right there, Kurtz is real. I mean, he was just one little shake away from breaking that one open. Avon was just there. Yeah, almost an opportunity to uh, to do something with it. I'm a little surprised as well as Hydorn kicks the ball, but that's the approach that they went with. But with a minute seven to go, the Bulldogs back onto the field, and you got to wonder here, Colin, are they going to try to take a, a shot down the field, or are they content? You kind of have to. Yeah, you're, you're Especially, right. Especially, I mean, you're getting the ball back at the beginning of the half. Why not make it 28, 45? He's going, going deep. Had a receiver overshot him, and that was number seven for the Bulldogs to Quincy Davis. Who that was right the there was end. a dangerous throw, though. I mean, you have corner to the inside, safety to the outside, and you're just hoping your guy outruns them. And you're hoping the ball is right where it needs to be on that type of play. So here we go. Now Bulldogs back at it, out of the shotgun. Snap is high. There's the give. Little draw play. Breaks out of one tackle and a nice job by the Avon. I believe it was a linebacker that came up and got him. That was Marcus with the run that time. I mean, I know you want to throw him off. You don't want to just run the same things over and over, but now you're in crunch time here. I think you just need to start throwing the ball. Now, Colin, here's the, we'll get to it after this play, because here's the issue you run into, and now I think Brownsburg has realized is they're going to back off a little bit and let this play clock wind down that if you don't get the first down here, you're going to give Avon a chance to have the ball back. Back to pass. Drake has it. Rolling right time. Rolling, too. rolling, 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 throwing. Out of bounds. So Avon, with 23 seconds to play in the first half, will get the ball back. I'm thinking they'll just, unless they get the return back, and I doubt they will, they're just going to probably run it out. Because that they, the thing Brownsburg did do well there was they milked a fair amount of clock off. So, I 